Hey everybody, I thought today would be a good day to take a look at Baldur's Gate 3 in Early Access, being as it just came out a few hours ago. Um, I wanted to uh, take a look at this because this is one of those games that's kind of right in my wheelhouse, big party-based RPG based on Dungeons and & Dragons. And this one is going to be uh, turn-based, which I'm excited about because most of the time you get a game like this, it'll be real-time with pause, like a Pillars of Eternity and Pathfinder Kingmaker, things I've covered on my site before. Um, but uh, I'm pretty excited about this, and I wanted to kind of show it off. I have not seen this. This is my first look at the game. In fact, I'm going to probably have to put a pause in here real quick and see how the recording is even doing, because I haven't even tested anything yet. Um, I just went in and turned the music off and lowered the overall volume of the sound in the game and uh, adjusted the uh, settings, you know, turned off V-Sync, things like that. So I'm going to put a pause in real, real, quick, real quick here. Uh, actually, you know, first thing I'm going to do is go into options and uh, turn off exclusive full screen so I can do that a little bit easier. Um, full screen display. Let's see here. Fake full screen. Perfect. Okay. All right. That's a good sign. Uh, let me close this. Let me try and pause this. And uh, we'll kind of... Oh, I still can't move the cursor off the screen. Is that a, is that a separate option? Um... Okay, 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 that's fine. I will just have to use the old um, Windows button. Okay, uh, that seems to be working fine, so I'm going to assume it's going to continue to work and make a profile. Uh, let's see here, new profile. My name shall be... Um, Scott. There you go. Okay, perfect. Look at that. That was pretty easy. Uh, there's music. I mean, I like the music. I just don't want to distract people or my stuff taken down, and it's back. You know what? I noticed that when I uh, closed out of this earlier, uh, I didn't keep my sound settings. That's fine. Um, this is a good opportunity to preface this by saying this is an early access game that just came out and is more than a year from its final 1.0 launch. So there's going to be some bugs and some quirks and some weirdness and some things are not going to work and some cutscenes are going to seem broken. And it's the kind of experience that if this sort of thing bothers you or drives you crazy, you're not going to want to play this yet. I probably won't play this too much yet. Um, I just wanted to kind of take a peek and see how things are going and then be part of the process for, you know, bug reporting and things like that. So without further ado, let's just get in. Uh, I guess we'll allow access. I haven't seen this before. I don't think. Pardon my can opening. Wrath of Khan vibe here. Here we go. I am going to make my character. Ooh, let's see here. I'm going to go with... This is a cleric in the life domain. Select an origin. Custom. Um, 
the background. Dude, or I do that. I can't pick these characters. I have to make a custom character. That's totally fine. That's really close to the name I use a lot for these kinds of games. Um, all right. Uh, origin. This is where we are picking the origin. So, Alkalite, spend your life in service to a temple, learning sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the good, to the god or the gods that you worship. Charlatan, expert in manipulation, for an exaggeration, more than happy to profit from it. Criminal, breaking the law, you have deception, and stealth proficiency, entertainer, acrobatics and performance. Folk hero, animal handling and survival. Guild artisan, insight. Uh, see if someone's lying to you. Persuasion. Lie to people. Noble. History and persuasion. This is based on the 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons, which is actually um, something I never played around the table. Uh, the last time I played D&D around a table was 4th uh, edition uh, for like one session. Um, I'm much more uh, comfortable with 3rd edition, but I do like that 5th edition seems like a lower like smaller number version of third edition. There's there's a lot like your stats don't get quite so crazy high. Like contrasting it to Pathfinder, where you basically start with a twenty and something uh, every time you make a character. This is gonna be a little different than that. I kind of like the uh, the uh, deflation of the numbers. Uh, it seems like there's quite a few of these to pick from here. Outliners can athletics and survival. They have sage. I'm gonna make a wizard. I think for my first character. Uh, sailor, soldier, urchin. Okay, what's sage? Curious and well-read, with an unending thirst for knowledge. Arcana, provisions, and history. The thing is, is I would assume I would get that stuff anyway. So, um, well, you know what? Who cares about um, who cares about uh, min-maxing? All right, we have an elf, high elf, wood elf. We have tieflings, tieflings, Asmodeus, Mephistopheles. That's cool looking. All these guys are cool looking. Zeriel. I don't know what that is. I don't know who these guys are. Dro, Drow. Lothsworn and Seldarin. I think these are like the good guy draw now. It's pretty cool. Human. Get the Yankee. They have a lot of bonuses. Dwarf. Half elf. Wood half. You have a half drow. That's kind of an awesome. Thing. Uh, let's okay. So, what's human get? Uh, base racial speed plus one to everything. Oh, well, that's kind of awesome, actually. I mean, that's a really feels like a really big deal. Um, let's see what's get Yankee. Intelligence and strength, light armor, short sword, great sword. Let's just do human. Let's keep it simple for the first character. Um, let's see here. Do we have? Like a randomized, like a, a guy, I think. Let's um, come a little closer to my own tone. It's nothing like what I look like. That's fine. Um, let's take a look at the heads. Is there, by the way, oh, there is a zoom in. I don't, get, I don't need to get quite this close, but that's fine. Uh, let's make his hair look cool first. Hairstyle. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. I think there's a couple different zoom levels. That guy looks pretty cool. Um, I like hair three the best so far. Although this is kind of neat. Uh, you know what? Let's not spend a whole lot of time on this because it drives me crazy and people spend like a ton of time on this. Oh, that's very sagely. Okay, okay. Oh god. Um, you know what? This guy looks pretty good right here. Let's go with that. Let's go with a little bit of beard. I like I like a wizard of the beard, and then. Soon. We're just gonna go until I find some I like intuitively. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going. I'm going over and over again. Let's go with uh, which one did I like the best here? I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Hells. A tide the stones less warm here. Hells. Something just woke up down here. That's pretty cool. Uh, blue eyes. That's kind of nice. Hair, facial hair, hair color. It's fine. Tattoo. Oh. Um, these are some pretty wicked tattoos, I gotta admit. 
That's cool looking. Let's do that. And we're gonna go with no makeup at all. Class. We're gonna go with a wizard. Okay. Yeah, I got this coming along pretty good. Uh, I can customize his prepared spells and spell. What does he got here? Firebolt. Mm. Mage hand. That's pretty cool. What am I? Oh, I have quite a few options. Does a die six fire? Creates a hand that manipulates objects. Die eight cold. Reduce the target speed. What are my options here? True strike. Divine a character's defense to give you advantage on attack rolls against it. Shocking grasp. Deals lightning damage when target taking reactions. Poison spray. Ooh, it's a die twelve poison damage in an area. Uh, minor illusion. Create illusion image that distracts nearby creatures complaining to investigate. That's pretty awesome. Light. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. Friends. Interesting. That's very cool. Dancing lights. Illuminates an area. Requires concentration. Inflict chill touch. Can I regain hit points? Undead uh, creatures also can disadvantage on attack rolls. Blade Ward. In resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. These are some of these are really powerful for just like cantrips. I don't know if I necessarily want a ray of frost when I already have a fireball. I know the fireball does a little more, a little less damage, but it can also ignite things. And I kind of want to try some of these other ones here. Something uh, different, like maybe friends. Enchant a non-hostile creature to gain advantage on charisma checks against it. That's kind of neat, actually. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, done. All right, spells. I got mage armor. Surround a creature in protective magical force, giving it plus three armor class. Uh, that should make it easier to get, or harder to hit something with a higher armor class. Fog cloud, creating cloud of dense fog. Creatures submerged in that fog are heavily obscured and blinded. Grease. Uh, this is a very powerful spell. It covers the ground in grease, making it hard for the afflicted, afflicted creatures to get good footing and stand. Thunder wave. Pushes creatures away. Sleep is always a good one. Witch Bolt? I don't know what this is. One die 12 lightning. Inflicts Witch Bolt. Call forth a beam of crackling purple energy, doing a die 12 lightning, and links you to the target through an arc of lightning. Each turn you activate the arc to automatically deal 1 die 12 damage. That's amazing. Burning Hands. Charm Person. Magic the Charm of uh, Humanoid. That's always uh, fun. Um, I might keep Fog Cloud Grease. And what's this? Major armor. Let's let's drop this and pick something else. Find familiar is kind of cool. Feather falls, uh, cool. Bolster yourself with uh, five extra hit points. How long that last? Is there like a right click? No. Uh, let's see here. Dash. This guy itself. Well, that's a crazy spell. Though. <laughs> Suddenly show up here. Uh, color spray. Charm person jump. Pitch a creature increases movement speed by three meters. Okay, magic missile, of course, always very good. Three, three darts. Oh wow, you start with three darts. Oh, uh, let's see, pretty from good. And evil. Uh, protect a creature against aberrations. Celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and the undead. That's pretty amazing. Ray of sickness. Does a bunch of poison damage and can also poison the target. Oh, nice. Um. Oh man, these things are really cool. Okay, so I got Witch Bolt. I'm going to keep that. I got a Grease. Uh, fog could be really powerful. God, but there's so many things to pick. Here, I'm going to get rid of Fog because I want to get Charm Person. And I think I'm going to also grab... Jump? Triple Jumping Distance. Let's grab that. Okay. And then I'm going to have Grease, Mage Armor, Sleep, and Witch Bolt prepared. Yes, that seems fine. Okay, what else we got? Skills. Uh, skills with proficiency. So I have insight and investigation, history and arcana. I do not have medicine or religion. I do not have, yeah, uh, any of these. That makes sense. I'm fine with that. Ab abilities. Let's see here. We got intelligence is sitting on. I love these icons. Uh, I don't know. These are pretty decent starting points. What if I give myself a little more uh, dexterity? It looks like I can. Let's say drop my charisma. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think what we might do is 
Okay, so I have uh, a little higher charisma. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. And then the starting bonus, the falling dice rolls. Oh yeah, well, being all the one. Okay. Tell me. Uh, oh, what are you dreaming of at night? Uh, holy crap. Okay, so this is my character, right? Yeah, Tavix, the human wizard. Uh, 16 intelligence, arcana, history, da, 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 some spells, including some spells. Okay, adventure for it. Oh my gosh. 14 minutes and we're finally going to see the game. Here we go. Oh. Uh, what do you, who do you dream of? Who attracts you? Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know, maybe I've always been into elves. That's, uh, I don't know what we're, what we're picking here. Wood elf, high elf. Let's do uh let's just do elves. Elves are cool. A tidy slot, but no rune. Um, yeah. Yes. Sure. I don't know. start things off, wow.
I'm sure it's fine. I'm knocked out. Okay, press hold to view. Alright, I like this uh, transparent uh, menu here. Find a way out of the nautiloid. Okay. Looks like we uh, left click, we can zoom out, we can zoom in. Should I cast a spell? The number and quality of spell slots here can recovery action can restore. Long rest. Wow, what is this one out here? Opportunity attack. Hide, chub, dip, dip. Coach weapon, oh. Throw, dash, knock unconscious, help. I really like this interface. Um, okay, so these are the spells. Look, I got three firebolt. No, this is the number I see. I have firebolt, mage hand, yep, 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 yep. Um, I wish I knew how long this lasted. Because I don't want this. Well, let's just cast it. Alright, major armor is now equipped. Do I have major armor? Here we go. Remains still fully rested. Oh, okay. Excellent. Should I save? Yes. That looked like a uh, quick save, so it's successful. Perfect. Alright. I can rotate around. I can I can click on stuff. I probably should. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Oh, I can investigate. Um Sure. Do it. Sixteen's not bad. Hey, look at that. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Well, I guess we will. Uh... Its casing crumbles beneath your hands, sloshing volatile brine as it collapses. Gross. Oh. I should have seen that coming. I made the investigation check, and then I didn't care. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see what I've got here. I haven't done any damage or anything. Is there a? Oh, you can hold down Alt, and we can get the Void Bulb, which we can throw. Creates a force of pulls in all nearby unfixed items. Huh. And a sticky sap lip substance trickles down the. Okay. Dead. This. Good. Yeah, I agree. There's a mind flare pod. Someone else got out. Mm, these are all empty pods, I'm going to assume. There's a caretaker. Oh, I, I had to use jump to reach that. Uh, let's see here. Um, where's jump? Jump. There we go. Very cool. That's going to leave a mark. Scroll and age armor and some gold. Let's get out of there. Uh, can I, like, roll around? So it's not to die. Jeez. Um, okay, let's jump again. Let's get out of here. Uh, did I, okay. Oh, I so suppose I'm not. I see it through this hole down here. Okay. Um, I probably don't have anything in my inventory. Uh, oh, I have a potion of healing. Oh, man, I really hate to use this right now, but I, I guess I'm going to have to. Uh, that's very cool. You can use that right from the inventory there. Equipment, all. What we got here? Character sheet. <clears throat> Here's a character sheet. All right, very cool. Potion healing scroll. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and then you have equipment. Well, spell book. Um, where I could like, like I'm gonna take major armor off because I cast mine and I have a scroll of it now. I'm gonna give myself a jump. Um, okay. And then I have three gold. And then what's this button here? Here's panels for characters, intelligence, go, tags, uh, spells. What's this do? Crafting maybe? Looks like crafting to me. Here's the map. Okay, very cool. Let's get out of here. Might be other survivors. Might be other survivors. Okay. I mean, I think that's a. That's probably a given. Who was inside? Uh, probably just wasting time. Oh, what's this? Where the hells are we? The chest. Oh, alright. Potion of fire resistance. That's cool. I think that 
resistance is half damage from that element. Grab a caustic bulb. Let's save my game again. We are dealing with Early access game. Let's see. Grease bottle and alchemist fire. Alright. Alright, let's um Okay. Uh, I think it's probably time to get out of here. Let's see what this game has in store for us. I captured a lowly level one mage. Uh, imps. Looks like they're dead. The best kind of imp. Devil king. Am I in the hells? Hmm. Potion of healing. Very, very handy. Potion of scroll bolt. It says a neutral apparatus. Oh. A chest. That's creepy. Odd. That's not great. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. Please, before they return. Oh, that's interesting. They return. The enemy. So many enemies. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a uh -oh. minion of the mind flayers who abducted Ooh, my you. My arcana succeeded. A mind flayer? No, I'm, I don't want a mind flayer. Nah, mess with that. Oh God! Couldn't I have used a cantrip? Jeez, well, yeah. Boil your hands. All right. Uh, let's loot him. I got that much. Okay, and we have all these things here, like this tentacle oh, aquarium. Brains. Oh, that's horrifying. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. We can probably get back down the same way we came up. Very. This is really cool looking. This ship. All right. Let's get out of here. I'll explore this place more thoroughly on subsequent playthroughs. Anyway. So we're still in flight. Can I make this jump? Yikes. That's uh that's scary. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. Auto save, huh? I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange mm, woman's eyes. Oh, Soon you're seeing her memories. My head. What is this? Squaw. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together. We might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. Hmm. 
All right. The helm are we at? It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our gay captors. Onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Oh, so we're not even on Earth planet. Forgotten realms. Okay, so let's uh, let's do it. All right, here we go. Combat. We surprise the enemy. Combat happens in turns. Each turn you can do one action and one bonus action and move. Roll uh, a roll of the die determines turn order. This is called initiative influenced by your dexterity. Uh, your available actions are highlighted. Uh, bonus actions are actions you can perform on top of your normal actions. It's these guys here. Movement bar tells you how much distance you can cover. Okay. So I can move... Uh, okay. So I can move up to here. I can move uh, 9 meters and no more. So we're going to move... And then I'm going to. I, mean, I, can, I, I can swim my club, but I think I'm just going to use a fireball cantrip. 95% chance to hit. Pickiness! Boom! Three damage. Now, is there. Is there a combat log? Because I'm sure I've seen one. Oh, I don't need any of that stuff. There's a gat. What was this? Here we go. Here we go. All right, three damage. Oh, nice! And it does the uh, it does the cool thing that like Pillars Two and Pathfinder does, where you can like get some more information. So I I hit him for three. Attack roll two. <laughs> I only rolled a two. That's all I needed apparently. Probably because his armor class is low due to him being uh, flat-footed and surprised. Okay, that's my. All right. So use a melee weapon in front of me is near you. That seems likely to be a main thing. Can I look at her inventory equipment character sheet type thing from here? Okay, so she has a long sword. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. She's wearing half plate armor. Alright. So what's her armor class then? 16, mine's 15, but mine's plus 3 from the mage armor. Okay, so I can't do a whole lot except. Doubles your movement speed for the current turn. Perfect. So now I want to move. She can second wind, she can use mage hand silence. Okay. Oh, okay, I had to use it on her. Alright, let's get in there. Okay, very cool. And that's pretty much all she can do. Yeah, so we're going to let the imps go now. Uh, that's a miss. Okay, now I could... Walk up and clock him, but I'll stand in the fire. I don't want to stand in the fire. We've already fallen for that once before, so I'm just going to firebolt. This guy's very lucky to die. Oh, I couldn't quite kill him. He had one hit point left. That's dumb. I'm gonna move away from this fire. Okay. Ooh, they have firebolts also. It's a jerk move, imp. Uh, let's just kick this guy's butt. There we go. Get in front of the wizard. Okay. Let's witch bolt this guy. He has a crossbow. Oh, that was awesome. Now I, I suppose I can't on the spell slot. Okay, I gotta rest. Can't trip you can use over and over again. Man, quit shooting the wizard. Um. All right. So this guy, she can just. Run straight up there. It's very cool. Do it. What happened? Oh, didn't have enough actions to get there. Well, okay. Uh, I can shove him. I don't want to shove him. Uh, we will instead firebolt him. Uh, let's see here if I can get him a little higher. So we'll, we'll harder hit, but I got him anyway. 
Now she can go after him. There we go. Hey, I take experience points. You proved surprisingly. Let's look at one of these healing. It's important to heal under a fight. Certain potions, spells, now, and food can heal you. Restoration stations stations can heal you as well. Okay, so they give us access to some cool stuff here. Oh, look at all these goodies. Uh, let's go over here. Here, I want to control my guy. Although, ah, they're on together. I was just thinking I should maybe have the melee character be the one who's in front, but. I feel matter. We'll see. If it matters, I'll start controlling her more often. Alright, anything? Nope. Just like the other dead imps, they don't seem to have a lot of loot on them. Um, oh, this one had a long sword for some reason. Okay, this is a new scroll of mage armor. It's just, actually, it's nice. Scrolls of mage armor are nice to find because it lasts for such a long time and you ain't got to worry about um, using up a spell slot, uh, in my case. But when I run out of them, then I can go back to using a spell slot for him, and by then I'll hopefully be a higher level. And I won't mind so much. Okay, another potion. Alright, excellent. That's excellent. Let's quick save the game. That worked out pretty good. Okay. That worked out pretty good. Uh, now where are we heading to next? Wounded Imp, Thrall Student. We got some stuff around the corner up here, so let's, let's head up here. Here to not be able to pull the oh I see. Kitchen. Ten red rats, uh, and they're flying and they're clawing. The mind flayers have already enthralled him. Leave him, or we will share his fate. Okay. You're the boss. Like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of access, a lot of time coming up where we can. Uh, Experiment and play with stuff, so I'm not gonna worry about. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Can I charge? Oh, she does have a bow. Let's shoot this guy. And then, and then move a little forward. And we'll switch to a sword next turn. This turn. Okay. Can't reach a target, shoot him. Um, okay, I don't know if five foot steps are a thing, so I'm gonna just firebolt this guy. Do a one point of damage. That's a cantrip for you. I guess I might as well just sit here. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, let's try and get this. I like the little preview. Oh, that's cool. That was neat. And let's move up here. And then we're gonna. What else do I have here? Friends of Mage Hand. That's really cool. Okay. Missed. And get him. Alright. And, uh, what if I were to. Mage Hand. Ready as you remain! Let's 
go crack that thing. Did it work? No. Yeah. Hit it. There you go. Alright. I assume my... Okay, yeah. Something's gonna happen here because an auto suit didn't happen. Alright, let's get out of here. Backpack. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Oh, I lost my concentration. Uh, scroll of false life. Let's grab that. I don't necessarily want to touch anything. She just told me not to. Let's see a burnished necklace, scroll of inflict wounds, and elaborate reliquary. Okay, but I will save the game and touch this anyway. We have no time for stragglers. These are incredibly powerful runes. Dispel them. Man, I love it when you have dialogue options based on your class and your skills and things. <clears throat> Let's do it. The pot is stuck fast and I can't Wait. freeze. Wait! That can't be. It cannot be helped. Uh... I mean, there's these things. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Hmm. I like the DM. Okay. The machine made them hostile. Yeah, she mad about that. Because that's fair. Ugh. But she's a badass. I mean, it's pretty experience point. You think she'd be all excited about that? Just me. Let's fireball. Or fireball. Fireball's different. What is that? He is threatened and he's burning. He burned again. That's pretty good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's. Well, hold on. What's this? What's the third one do? Nothing. Let's heal. Uh, a quill. Some extra gold. An emerald ring. Those are just worth some money. Nice. And uh, not much else here for us, I guess. Um, I was hoping to be able to rescue her, but if there's a way to do it, I don't have the ability to do it yet. So, uh, let's assume we come back and move forward. Looks like there's a, another fight here. Oh, gross. How many hosts of these gay infected? A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. I'm oh, going to free her. What if I were to push stuff randomly? Could mean anything. My can of fill failed. That's, that's so cool. I love the way that works. Alright, so this was a horrifying room with no redeeming qualities. Well, actually, it looks like there's a loot to be had here at least. Uh, a key. A story item. Okay. What's this do? Hmm. A key. For what? What if I look in here now? The newborn mind flare stares at you. Uh, that's very cool. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, does the key open this? I'm gonna guess not. It's not the kind of key. But I'll try. 
Nope. Okay. Probably need it to go this way. I imagine we have to go into that little cutscene there and see that. Alright. We are nearing the helm. Once in Okay. Once inside, do as I say. And that's yes, right here. Okay, so that's the helm. And Okay, so I think I'm going to stop here because I just wanted to see a little bit of the game and show it off a little bit. And I don't know how much you, gentle viewers, want to see of this uh, before you play it yourself. So I think a 45 minute look at the game uh, is, is a good start. And then I think what I might do is, at some point, I'd like to do some videos that show off the classes and the races and some different uh, aspects of the game that I am particularly happy with the more I dig into it myself. So. On that note, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or want to see more videos uh, of this uh, game, please let me know, uh, and I'll make some more. All right, thanks again.